Hello, hi, I'm Andre, a solution engineer from PDFDRON. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of PDFDRON and do a PDFDRON web viewer demo. So let's jump in. We've been around for 20 years. Initially, we started as a low level PDF editor, then we built out our rendering engine, conversion, and added additional file formats like CAD, MS Office, images, and videos. Now for this demo, I'm going to use our web viewer SDK. However, in terms of platforms, we cover web, Android, iOS, native uh, application development, uh, Windows desktop, as well as Windows and Linux server, as well as Mac OS. In terms of web, we cover most modern frameworks like React, Angular, Vue. We also have an integration with Salesforce, and you can even build out your vanilla JavaScript application as well with the web viewer SDK. So I jump into the demo. And by the way, this is publicly available demo, so you can go in and play around with it yourself. I'll post the link in the video as well. So web viewer SDK is this component that can be embedded within your application. And inside of it, you can specify the different available options to the users. So some users might just be able to view PDFs, images, MS Office documents, uh, by the way, PDFs, MS Office uh, are all being rendered client-side completely inside the browser. So you don't need any server-side dependencies and WebViewer can be simply integrated inside of your app as an NPM module. We also have rich annotation capabilities where the users can mark up. So for example, I can go ahead and highlight this, but also can go ahead and place comments saying, please change the text to. I can also set up a numerous different review and approval processes as well by setting different statuses right here and can also mention people that have access to this particular document. What we can do as well, we can really control the functionality is being given access to different users. So for example, I can toggle the different Dart theme, white theme, remove capabilities like downloading and printing PDFs, disable text selection to protect the sensitive content to prevent people from copying, pasting the format, as well as provide only the needed or required annotation tools to the user. And we can also just go ahead and build completely our own UI by hiding all of the overlays altogether. Inside of the demo, we also have the support for form functionality where users can fill out PDF forms. Let's go ahead and make it bigger and fit to width. Perfect. Uh, so I can go ahead and fill up my name. And as you can see, every time I'm filling my name, there is an event being raised, which we can listen for to capture the information being entered. For the form data, as well as the annotation data, we can keep it together with the PDF. We can flatten it on top of the PDF, or we can save it separately into a database and track differently and separately for each user. Now, this is how we also enable real-time collaboration between multiple people by synchronizing from a single source of truth inside of the database. Inside of a PDF document, we can also allow our users to manipulate PDF documents. So this could be simply as rearranging the position of the page or rotating the page or deleting. We can also perform the same functionality on multiple pages by providing a range. So for example, I can say, select pages two and five to nine. And then after that, as you can see, those pages are now highlighted. I can extract, I can delete, I can also rotate. And if we do have some sensitive information in some documents, we can go ahead and highlight the information that needs to be redacted. So for example, here I have the name of the company, maybe the address and the phone number needs to be removed to stay compliant with GDPR or California Privacy Act. And then, yeah, this is good. We can actually burn in the redactions completely client side by removing all the underlying elements. A lot of different redaction solutions out there, all they do is either turn it into an image or just overlay a black box on top of the information. However, it's not sufficient and does require a low level PDF editing to remove all the underlying elements, which what we do. Now there's tons of other different functionalities available. I really encourage you to jump in and check out the different applications and use cases and check out the demos. If you have any questions, please comment them below or email support at pdftron.com.